here we are standing right here at the Victoria Gardens in Rancho Cucamonga and I want to welcome you guys to the first episode of NC real estate TV today we're going to be talking to mr. Steve Kim the owner of the cut a restaurant here one of Victoria Gardens newest restaurants uh, so we're gonna interview Steve ask him a few questions about his business the restaurant and what it took to get where he is at today and also to check out one of his favorite meals so uh, let's head on over there and check it out all right, so I don't know if you guys know this, but you're not supposed to film on the Victoria Gardens grounds without a permit. We didn't get a permit, so we're going to try to do this low key. Hopefully, we got no security popping by right now, but let's see what happens. All right, what's up everybody? Thank you guys for tuning in to this video. This is episode one of NC Real Estate TV. My name is Nick Cardenas. I'm a local real estate agent here in Southern California. And today we are here at The Cut, Modern American Eatery and Bar. And we're talking to the owner, Mr. Steve Kim. We're gonna ask him just a few questions to get to know him, get to know the restaurant. And then we're gonna head inside and give you guys an in-depth tour of what he has going on here. So Steve, thank you for uh, being with us today. How are you doing, Nick? My pleasure, thank you. Absolutely, man. So. Just a couple questions to for the audience here to get to know you, get to know your restaurant. Question number one, what inspired you to open up your own restaurant, specifically The Cut? Because I know you own more than just one, right? Correct, correct. So, you know, I'm a big proponent of, you know, you really have only one life, right? And so I've always had a vision to do food and I've always had a knack for food, wanted to own a restaurant one day. You know, I did have to start with a food truck, you know, for The Cut. But you know, that's, that's where it all began. And once I started with the truck, it was kind of like at that point, no looking back, you know, you got one life, you know, and I get to say, I do what I want to do. And so that's been a blessing for me. And so, you know, fast forward 10 years later and here, here we are. Awesome, so started at, with a food truck, put the goal with a plan and now we're here. So good for you, man, congratulations on that. Number two, um, I guess you kind of already answered this in the first question, but how long have you been in the restaurant slash food industry? So I started with truck 2014, so now we're on a decade. Uh, 2017 was the first brick and mortar. So in terms of physical restaurants, 2017 to now, so we're talking seven years in the seven. We have you know four standing restaurants, two different concepts. Amazing, amazing. So seven years in the actual brick and mortar business. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Number three, for all the viewers out there, what do you feel separates the cut from the competition in the area? Well, back from the beginning and continuing today, it's like our identity, right? Our identity is founded on three principles, quality, freshness, and tradition. You know, the quality of the product we use, we try to use some of the best that you'll find, period, in the industry. The freshness aspect, locally sourced, fresh made in-house, you know, from sauces to flour blends, we make everything. Uh, in terms of, you know, what separates us from the competition, you know, IEOC is very chain dominant. Great companies, I respect a lot of them, look up to a lot of them, but when they get that big, something changes, right? How things are produced. So we're chef driven, chef is here. We make things from scratch, traditional old school culinary technique. We exemplify that. And those three components, I think, is what kind of makes us and the end product shine beyond what you'll typically find in most markets. Okay, good to know. So that's some good insight on how the food is made here, how it's prepped, and then the actual quality of the food you're gonna be getting here at The Cut. And trust me, it's quality. So if you haven't been here yet, you guys gotta get here. All right, so question number four for you, Steve, for the viewers who haven't visited The Cut yet, what is your favorite dish? And if you can't nail down one, what's the most popular dish and the best dessert? Okay, so favorite is subjective, right? I, you know, I have a lot, but if it's someone's first time, if they're rolling with a burger, I'm always gonna suggest the savory. It's one of the original three burgers we started with on the truck, that bacon relish on there, that's the one that had people mm. going, oh my God, what is that? Best burger ever. Okay. Me, I like the steak frites. I'm a big steak guy. You know, we use a hanger steak, prime grass fed, hangers, not a common cut you'll find around so we chose to focus on that it's my favorite cut next to a ribeye so the steak frites mm -hmm. dessert sticky day pudding hands down one of the best desserts i've ever had in my life non-biased my wife agrees too <laughs> absolutely and i agree too i'm not a dessert guy um i will indulge in some dessert but i don't typically order it but the sticky date pudding 
that thing is off the chains. So I agree with that. All right, guys. Well, that's it for the questions. We're going to head inside now and get a look at what we have in the restaurant and try out one of these favorite dishes. Let's go. You Thank you. Thank you. Uh, fresh every day. Fresh every day. <laughs> that's his signature on social media. Fresh every day. Fresh every day. That's it. Mm -hmm. We're in the back here in the actual kitchen of the cut, getting a nice in-depth look of, of what the chef is gonna make us today, which is what? What are we gonna what are we trying? Some scallops. So let's check it out. Or even like with the seafood, it's gonna be like diver caught scallops, right? The name of the dish is diver scallops on the plate. So not caught by fishing nets, fishing boats, caught by diver that way. The scallop, the integrity of the scallop is always intact. Nice, good size. Wow, the freshness, no damage to it. Nice, beautiful. Uh, crispy calamari. So, I said, uh, even our seafood, you know, same principles, the freshness, the quality, you know, hand breaded, fresh to order, and our scratch made flour recipe. So, shaved parmesan, fried with some shishito peppers, a little different twist on it. Phenomenal, we make a basil aioli dipping sauce. All our signature sauces are made from scratch in house, so, um, spot. Is that for me or is that for a guest? For a guest. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's looking bomb. Even like, <clears throat> even the name, the cut, there's like so many different nuances in there. Yeah. Like, so it's like, yep. How did you come up with the name? So, you know, when back in like 2011, I was getting into like clean eating. I was going to the butcher to get meat, right? Straight off the butcher's cutting block. Yeah, you know? yeah. And, uh, and I always wonder like, hey, all these restaurants, they, they don't do it like that. And I'm like, you know, why isn't there one? Mm. You know, and so, straight from the butcher's cutting block levels of freshness, right? Nice. Higher end cuts of beef, right? Instead of right. just a typical ground beef, right? And so, and then, you know, in a little urban twist, like, you know, it's a like catch me in the cut. You know, so, here we go. Um, it just, the cut just kept popping up, and I'm like, the cut. The you cut, know? so while this falls short, yep. we, we, we make the cut. Instead, we are love the cut. Love it, love it, yep. When others fall short, we make the cut. Serve with a truffle polenta. Okay. Perfect pan seared diver scallops laying on a bed of truffle polenta. Serve pomegranates. Delicious. Diver scallops on a bed of truffle polenta. It's looking delicious. Tripolini onions. Cipollini onions. Oh, 
Oh, but there's more. <laughs> A little sprinkle of the salt. Brussels sprouts. Man, top notch. Oh, pomegranate seeds. And it's for the brown butter cauliflower sauce. Wow. Scallops on fleek. All right, so one thing that uh, my wife and I often come in here for is the dessert. You guys, the dessert is off the charts. So there's one dessert, you know what we get. What is it? Tell them about it. The sticky date pudding. So we take dates and we grind them so fine, almost into a powder, right? And then we make like a, a bread pudding, so a little more cake-ish. Um, the dish was inspired by our chef de cuisine, Martin. His grandma used to make him date pudding growing up. Mm -hmm. So it was a nostalgia for that. But how do we elevate it, right? Like we do at the cut with every yeah. dish and then make it inspired. So we make a butterscotch sauce. We infuse the pudding with a scratch-made butterscotch sauce. We make a different butterscotch sauce and lay it on top. Florentine out of LA, they make an ice cream flavor of vanilla toffee just for us, just for that one dish. Really? Wow, okay. We candy walnuts in-house, crumble those underneath the ice cream, mm. and then just a little bit of powdered sugar to finish. So but for me, I think it's one of the best desserts I've ever had, period. Absolutely. And, you know, I think a lot of our guests agree as. Yeah, I'm not a dessert guy, but that one dessert, I can come in here and eat it every time. So if you guys haven't tried the sticky date pudding, get in here and give it a try. It will just knock your socks off. You guys will love it. So awesome, yeah, man. Life Thank changing. you. Yep, life changing for sure. Cool, bro. Excited, bro? Let's do this. Ready? Ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, Steve, what do we got here? There you go. We got the diver scallops. Hands here, perfect. Better truffle polenta, some pomegranate seeds. Fried Brussels sprouts, mm. finished with a brown butter cauliflower cream sauce. Excited, let's do this. Here we go. Get some of that in there. Oh yeah. Delicious. You guys got to so, get here and try this now. Like I've never liked scallops anywhere until I meet them here. I'm like, wow, phenomenal. So good. Let's try the Brussels sprout. Mm. Speechless. So good. A lot of flavor. So good. So much right. flavor. Thank you. Mm. So how do we do? Bro, amazing, amazing, delicious. I haven't had the scallops yet, first time today. And um, yeah, didn't, didn't, uh, didn't fail at all. So you guys definitely made the cut. <laughs> all right, man, hey, appreciate today, brother. Thank you so much. Good yeah, to man. see you. And for all you guys out there, if you haven't visited the cut yet, make sure you stop by today. Come visit Steve and the team. Make sure you tell them Nick Cardina sent you guys. See you on the next one. Cool, bro. Nice, Thank man. You. Thank you, bro. Awesome.